Live tonight, their man's best friend, sometimes their biggest defender, especially during dangerous situations. Police canines have a tough job and they go through countless hours of training. But can some dogs actually be too nice for the job? Here's ABC 15's Nick Saletti. Yes, Kato. It's the perfect balance of aggression, instinct, and most importantly, discipline. You can train any dog at any age. But that's not all Valley Canine trainer George Daniolos wants to see in his next recruit. Got you. Yes. Good. In fact, one trait may surprise you. We look for dogs that are very outgoing and social. There was that um, kind of misconception that police dogs have to be mean, and it's, it's actually the opposite. But judging from Canela, a Belgian Malinois who can sniff for drugs <laughs> just as easily as she can sniff out the bad guys, the nice card often gets checked at the door. Oh. For George, it's about training dogs to use those instincts, but also knowing when to switch them off. Your best fighters aren't necessarily mean people and humans, right? They're usually very friendly, very confident. They're not out looking for fights, right? Same, same that happens with the dog. All right, so it's no secret. It takes hours and hours of training to get dogs like Canela up to snuff in order to do her job. Every interaction is another teaching moment. But what happens when all of that training just doesn't work? There's no use of trying to put an animal into something that it's not made for. George says the dogs that don't make it after his program can go into other types of service, get rehomed, or sometimes even become therapy dogs, still giving these pups a sense of purpose. Even if it doesn't work specifically for our program, um, it still is going to do uh, be a good companion for someone. Reporting in Phoenix, Nick Saletti, ABC 15, Arizona.